Travel Yourself. Hey, it's Kaylin from Travel Yourself, and I'm here in Komodo National Park in Indonesia. Declared UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1986, the park is home to over 2,500 Komodo dragons. Currently, I'm standing on Rincha Island, which is home to 1,300 of those endangered species. Rincha Island is about an hour's boat ride away from the island of Flores, where most hotels are located, and is a great place to start your Komodo dragon adventure. So we'll come to Rincha Island, and I hope you're happy forever. By the way, on the way, you have to stay with group, keep quiet, and no smoke or make a fire along the trail. There is a not magic stick, but Komodo dragon stick. Was for such to fight for them. So normally, when the Komodo dragon come close to us, and then we put on the necks of them, and let them go away. We then walked along a hiking trail in search of the dragons. And along the way, we saw some beautiful scenery. With a ranger at my side, I was also able to get up close to an older Komodo dragon with two broken arms from fighting with another dragon. The Komodo dragons here on the islands feed on water buffalo, snakes, monkeys, rabbits, you name it, anything they can get their hands on. However, a Komodo doesn't really need to eat for one to two months. We of course also visited the famous Komodo Island. And around this place there is the dragons. They come to this place because they smell of food. And on this island there are 1,288 dragons. We are actually on Komodo Island itself now and I am standing on a bench inside a raised hut because I am really scared of these Komodo dragons. The ones here on Komodo Island are a lot bigger and they're quick so that means they're hungrier and I also have a cut on my leg from a crazy insect bite in Borneo so um, I think they're smelling me on my leg and it's not awesome. So I'm just going to stand up here on this bench while everyone else gets closer and takes photos. If you are lucky, you may also have the rare opportunity to see a Komodo dragon on the beach. There's a Komodo dragon on the beach over there, and I am uncomfortably close to it. I hope we leave soon. After seeing more Komodo dragons on Komodo Island today, we've come to the other side of the island to a place known as Pink Beach. All of the red coral in the sea breaks up and comes onto the beach, turning it a pinkish color. This is a great place to come for a snorkel, swim or scuba dive, and to have a picnic and enjoy the sun. Here's some tips for visiting the islands of Komodo. Never come alone. Always make sure that you're with a ranger and that you listen to them and stay very close to them. Also, let the rangers know if you have an open wound or ladies, it's that time of month, as Komodos can smell blood from over 18 kilometers away. Also, make sure you're safe and that you're always looking around. And if by chance a Komodo does come after you, run in a zigzag pattern and run as fast as you can. Travel yourself. <laughs>